Today, we talk about the fabled, the one you shall not mention. Say his name, turn to stone, just like Voldemort. Say his name, you may be befallen by a <laughs> allegation yourself. The one and only. My hair is on frame. <laughs> this, dude. Today, we are talking about Dad Sick. Yo, everyone. This is a very serious matter to me. There have been recent allegations against me for things I have not done. I am a vibe reader. I am a vibe reader. I am a vibe reader. Troy Beatles, age 31, born in Canada. He's a dubstep producer DJ who has taken the world by storm. His new Ninja Tour. I don't even remember the name, but in 2018, the dubstep producer DJ Datsik was accused of multiple rape allegations. The man went silent on social media for a year and a half, getting multiple attacks, multiple accusations, taking multiple girls onto his tour bus, doing drugs. The fabled dubstep producer who could have been. Where is he now? What happened? What kind of games is he playing? Is he playing Xbox? Playing little FIFA 2K? The reason I'm doing this video is because there have been new stirrings. A wild Datsik has appeared on social media again after a long pause. So today we're going to dive into the gritty. What happened to Datsik? Where is he? What's he doing now? What do you think he's going to do? Is he going to drop a mixtape? Take over the world? Probably not. We're going to see though on this episode. Oh, fuck. On February 15th, 2020, Datsik uploaded this picture to Facebook. Fellow DJ Tynan chiming in. And here's his Twitter picture. Also changed. And header. When you change the header, you know it's fucking real. Hinting that maybe he's doing like a tour or something. Um, I don't know what he's going to tour. Is he going to tour his fucking apology videos? We'll get to that in a second. This guy chimes in back in the day that basically Datsik took advantage of his friend and they use this code term Tulsa. T-U-L-S-A, meaning a slut when you hold it in the mirror backwards. I am Tulsa. This is Spur this is this Tulsa. There's this DM with Datsik saying that full disclosure, we ended up in the back of my bus, hooked up for like five minutes, he seemed really drunk, so he stopped. Then you tried to walk off without pants on, and then I stopped you and gave you pants to wear. And then you ended up in the front for a while. Someone was trying to look out for you. This is a very tasteful tweet. Before this all happened, 2011, but still, this is like really funny. En route to Tulsa, Tulsa spelled backwards as a slut. <laughs> Since been deleted, as you can see. Tweet not found. Rape is such a strong term. I prefer the term struggle snuggle. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> classic. Also, deleted, deleted, deleted. Totally not guilty. So his ex-girlfriend, Shara Grace, was the label manager at Firepower Records, and she's since backed off and is now working at Bite This, Jaws's label. Shara would be backstage, and Datsik would aggressively be hitting on girls, asking them to do ketamine with him, probably some nose beers, getting them into him, doing some little shots, a little chug, chug contest, 10 seconds chug, chug this fucking rape allegation. Funnily enough, I actually played a festival with him at Wobbleland 2017, I believe, and he was on his ninja tour. In November of last year, 2019, he released a very compelling apology video, which I also made a parody to. Link in description. Hey everyone, uh, it's Troy Datsik here. He sounds like a robot. Hey, what's up guys? This is Troy. Yeah! I'm really sorry I did the rape. Dude, I didn't mean to. What the heck? It's all I've been able to think about and I've done my best to pick up the pieces and grow as a human being. It's all I've been able to think about, this fucking shit. I just want to make my wubs. Let me make a wub, a few people, whatever. I'm doing my best to stay healthy and positive, and I plan to keep moving forward this way. <sighs> all right, tell me if I'm wrong, but is the similarity not uncanny? Uh, new Lamborghini here. I love this tweet. This dude really started off his non-apology with, yo, everyone. My reader. Dude, his vibe is clearly forklift. Dude, just read his vibe. What the fuck? Oh shit, his vibe's on Lambo. Her vibe's totally just filled her exam, going to Starbucks, and then Lululemon shopping spree. Dude, my vibe is fucking... Just fucking... I don't know, dude. Read it. I am a vibe reader. I find it all really fishy. He made his tweets private. Why would you do that if you weren't guilty? There were multiple coinciding allegations. Does he even need to make music anymore? Come on, like, look. One million monthly listeners on Spotify. That equates to around four grand a month, if my calculations are correct. Uh, at this time, Beatles has no upcoming tour dates or releases. So I assume right now he's like banned and blacklisted from a bunch of festivals. Promoters probably don't want to put that on the stage. Probably won't sell, but it probably actually would because there'd be a lot of curiosity. 
If he came back, what do I think would happen? Let's say he puts out like an EP. It would probably get a fuck ton of buzz and like a lot of hate. And then, I don't know, maybe that would be his best one because people would just forget. Be like, oh, he's still a musician. Right now he's just like the rape guy. This comment is funny. Just stop, please go live the rest of your days with monks and other content or something. This is not it. Chicken the best show I've ever been to. Milwaukee New Year's show with Excision. I need some of that old dirty style. We love you, Dad. So like, screw all these people that still want to believe all the accusations, even though he hasn't been charged for them at all. So basically, it wasn't true because the media wants to be ignorant and forget how to read and just assume it's true. Dude, where's the host? This comment also gets me. One, avoid the allegations. Two, stay to the limelight for 18 months now that I'm back for no other reason but anxiety and depression. Three, avoid the allegations. Four, new music coming soon because every label dropped me. Five, avoid the allegations. Pretty much how I feel. Why don't you directly address some of the allegations? But you can't, because if you do, you'll have to go to court. And now it's shock. I don't wanna go to court, I wanna make wubs. What's your opinion? I wanna see a comment. I wanna see a fat comment. Or a skinny one. Are you the dude in the Facebook that's like, fuck it dude, one more chance. One more rape, one, one chance equals one rape, fuck it. Or are you like, no. Stop. I wanna see a comment, follow me on my socials. Links down below to all my shite. Follow me on Sisterhood and the Traveling Pants. Follow me on uh, Rebel Most. Hit me up on Yammer. Uh, how about Plaxo? Do you got that? Yeah, hit me up on Plaxo. Anyways, goodbye. <laughs>